little country song for you tonight. Have I told you lately that I love I got papers scattered in every direction. Trying to stop writing is like voting in Florida's last election. <laughs> Hopeless. I keep a dictionary under my pillow and the source under my mattress so they can catch me sleeping. If I'm not typing, I'm not eating. Me and my poems got to stop meeting like this. I feel like I gave birth to my verse. It even has my likeness, so I write this to express that. 
I'm obsessed. It's my medicine. So when I'm possessed with ADHD and manic depression, I take lyrical Prozac and Ritalin, mind filled with adrenaline, brainstorming for random synonyms, thinking well beyond the Benjamins, balancing my masculine and feminine, tasting sweet success like intimates. My synthesis pillages, my gang is called in villages. It's hard to fight the militant because when I speak, my uncles reminisce, doing with emotion because my nieces and nephews be feeling this, teach them that they can balance aggression and tenderness, and that sex ain't love unless it has a tender kiss. Me not composing is like an organization with no membership. I don't exist. So I persist to breathe my pen and paper, trying to rise to my potential like vapor. What I say is sweet, cause I do it now and later. Create wow from paper, and like a V pointing to the right, now I'm greater. West Side Chicago's gang emancipator. Phoenix, Arizona's heat regulator. Constantly sacrificing virgin pure ideas to my maker via my pen and paper. I'm obsessed. My heart pumps ink, just ax my chest. Just take a look at my blue veins to discover my true name. Some say I'm insane because I stalk poetry like a had megastar type fame. Put spoken word in a needle. I have tracks like trains, let it infest my brain and get to the open mic and overdose on stage in front of everyone with no shame. Yeah. Now that's poetry. Peace. Yeah. Who stole my fire? My desire has diminished. My life incline is finished. Place me in a Guinness book for taking double looks. When trouble cooks, I've been a glutton. My good days are always contaminated by something. All my decisions I'm second guessing. I'm not recognizing my life lessons. 23 years and I ain't figured it out yet. Jumping from a brother who shout threats to a student who vouch checks. Giving myself away religiously like I owe devout debts. I feel like I overstay my welcome in people's lives like an inconsiderate house guest. So I must walk away before I'm asked to leave. Extricate all of my acts to deceive regardless of the pain that may cause. Like a homo erectus with paws, I've been breaking natural laws. Trying to score baskets without balls and dodging suspicious phone calls. Spending more time at the malls than at my place of sanctuary. But my saints tend to vary. Bury myself nightly, ritually between godly thighs. Until I'm born again through her max and climb. Baptized in sane eyes and dried in justified highs. Excelling with the assistance of marijuana highs. Assuming the same, sad that the same day I find clarity may be the same day I died. Who stole my fire? All my attempts to move higher was met by stiff opposition from those who claimed to respect my position. My hate intuition didn't warn me fast enough. I was shot at by a thousand chumps and my matrix couldn't duck half as much. So I was hit, caught like Morpheus, so the more I cussed, the more I believed in luck, the more I touched and got touched, the more I rushed into lust, I changed. Better yet, I adapted. I figured those negative projections must be counteracted, but the results was tragic. My poetry didn't have quite the same magic, and I died smiles like I was allergic because I felt like the victim of a psychotic surgeon. My heart had been cut out. So no longer do I yearn to write. No longer do I randomly recite. No longer do my star, my future look bright in the stars surrounding Jupiter. I adjusted to suit the fallacies of life. I changed because I was tired of trying to fight. Who stole my fire? I want to know what it looked like because I don't like my present state. I heard that heaven's great, but just like heaven's gate, I'm feeling drastic because I'm second rate and my access is bound to be denied. Just like a lion attacked by his own family, I've become a victim of my own pride and as a result, I lost my fire. I lost my motivation and desire. I changed from a distinguished service chapter to a squire. I peaked at 19, but the 20s ushered in my depression. I couldn't change history because I wasn't studying the history lessons. I wasn't voluntarily testing. I want my, I want my flame back. I want to find the culprit and take what's rightfully mine. I'm searching the forensics for a sign. What's the M.O. on this criminal? Is he conscious of what he did or was it subliminal? 
If I caught this individual, who would he resemble? What would be his mental? Would he even remember the time of the day? But I'm afraid that when I finally catch him, he would say, HB, I didn't steal your fire. You gave it away. 